Grace and peace to you. For this Friday, March 25th, the daily feast from Feasting on the Word returns to, to the prophet Isaiah, chapter 50, verses 4 through 9a. The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning he wakens, wakens my ear to listen as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me. Who will declare me guilty? Here ends this reading of God's holy word. And here is a reflection on it. Jesus, Gandhi, Mandela, Parks, King, these faithful ones can be as intimidating as they are inspiring. But we too have been called to be servants. We too are invited to make ourselves available, to allow ourselves to be used to be God's response to a broken and suffering world, a response not of destructive power, but of suffering love. It is important to recognize that the path of suffering love is chosen by the servant, or at least willingly endured. This text is not a call to remain in situations of suffering or abuse because one thinks abuse is somehow part of God's purpose. God's way leads always toward healing and wholeness. We tread a dangerous road when we acknowledge that sometimes vicarious suffering willingly endured can be redemptive while simultaneously fighting to liberate people from unwilling suffering. We must proceed cautiously. Notice the personal feel of this servant song. The name of God is used four times in six verses, suggesting a deep intimacy. It is an invitation to each of us to open ourselves to divine intimacy to make ourselves available to be God's response to a broken world, and to choose as that response not the path of hard power, violence, or destruction, but the path of soft power, nonviolence, listening, teaching, suffering love. Those thoughts of Richard Floyd continued his reflections from yesterday. In response, you could recall those with whom you have been in conversation, those for whom you have been praying in this season of Lent. Let us pray. Sustain me with a word so that I may be your presence in this world, healing, working for peace, listening, teaching. Amen. God give you peace and bless you now and always. Amen.